have just pulled out to the main highway. Took um, a trip on a bit of a bumpy road all the way down to a big beach on Lake Manicouagan and just had an awesome, awesome time camping in just an absolutely gorgeous spot on Lake Manicouagan. Mountains around everywhere, a little rain this morning, but it just almost made it more peaceful with the mountain tops into the clouds and a little bit of rain, but we dealt with that and busted out our awning on our uh, trailer and we would have liked to have stayed there another day so we're already planning our trip back there now we're headed to labrador city and good road through this stretch it's all paved so there you go that was a lot of fun that was such a beautiful sight i just wish we had gotten there much I much know. earlier I know. the colors are a little bit more spectacular today it feels like is almost like made of iron. All those uh, vats of oil dumped into the uh, river. Yeah, we just drove past an accident and there was a, a flatbed truck carrying a whole bunch of cisterns of oil and it went off the road right into a freaking pond which is completely full of oil now so they're trying to clean it up but i don't know how well of a job they can do so yeah oil spill we just passed following a shadow down to the graveyard gonna say a prayer gonna pay my dues i've been running wild ever since i left virginia Trying to find a face that might be mine me, 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 Well, we are on a long stretch of uh, gravel highway here on uh, Quebec 389. We're getting close to Labrador, but we are getting low on gas. We just haven't passed anywhere that sells gas. No gas stations. We passed a Fire Lake mine, just a big iron ore mine that actually has a rail line in it that connects all the way down to Setil at the Gulf of the St. Lawrence um, from a ways east to here. And uh, anyways, but no gas stations where that development was and nothing. So very windy road, uh, just, you know, rutted in some places, but overall pretty good, not too much washboard. Hopefully there's a, a gas station soon because we have about 60K left um, of fuel before we run out. So, you know, that's why we bring jerry cans, just in case. I remember being fine, uh, finding enough places to get gas the last couple times I drove this road, but I wasn't pulling a trailer. So once you're pulling a trailer, you burn more. Um, and uh, that's why I brought, you know, about 40 liters of gas, which is strapped to the roof of the trailer. So we might be pulling over and uh, pouring that in sooner than later. I can see the sunlight rising in the mountains on Jan Morning sky, I know that the world is ever steady changing. Lord, give me wings so I could fly away, fly away, fly away, fly away. We're off the dirt road.
order. Yeah, this is all tailings, this pile here. Look. <laughs> See how far it goes? Oh, this wow. is all just like was flat and this is just a pile of tailings. Okay, so we are 40 kilometers out from Labrador City. We just drove through a massive uh, mine which was pretty interesting to see and experience. But I think we will make it to Labrador City without running out of gas, so that is great news. The other great news is we will be there at three o'clock in the afternoon, because once we are past Labrador City, we can start looking for a nice place to pull over and set up camp for the night. To the wind it scatters And let's go at last Been of an adventure here. We got a local tip from uh, a guy who actually follows me online, watches our trips, that we bumped into outside of Lab City, and uh, he uh, gave us a little spot where we can camp well off the beaten trail. So we're taking him up on it, and uh, a little bit of interesting yeah. terrain, but uh, yeah, the truck hauled that trailer up that hill, no problem. Anyways, good times. I was bombing up that hill, honey. It's fun. Felt like we were in the sand dunes. Whoa, look at this. Look at that. cooking up the turkey pot pie for Wesley's dinner. All right, I'm gonna blend up Wesley's food here. Test out this uh, outlet at the back of the truck here. It's working. is our new friend Heather and uh, and also her husband Trent 
that we first connected with over social media that we basically just bumped into and they let us uh, camp on their property yesterday and Heather dropped by this morning and has gifted us some country food. So we got some char and some salmon from where she's from, Makovic on the Labrador coast. So, you know, we're talking about some real delicious fish, some of my favorite food. They got a, a roast of moose as well as some jarred moose or canned moose, which is just melt in your mouth delicious. Uh, so they really were super nice to us and Tori and I were wondering where we're gonna camp last night and they just must have read our minds because they just showed up and let us use their beautiful property here on top of an esker looking out over the lake 20 minutes outside of Labrador City. So yeah, pretty exciting and hopefully uh, we can stay in touch with them as well. But uh, Heather came back this morning after showing us to their property last night and uh, she's gone off to do some blueberry picking with her daughter and Hudson. Hudson really likes blueberries. Their blueberry season isn't till like mid-September and then they last on the plants into October, which is crazy because where we're from, uh, the blueberries are all dried up by like mid-August, if not not earlier but here it, it just takes them longer to get established and then it stays cool at night so they don't uh, dry up in that hot sun so there's delicious blueberries around here and Huddy is just really excited because he's a, a big blueberry fan anyways yeah so basically we're just packing up now Wesley's been fed we fed ourselves and we're gonna hit the road and we are headed for Churchill Falls today so uh, who knows where the day will take us and where we'll end up camping but um, we got a couple of uh, suggestions from Heather on neat places we can stop, which is always great to get some local advice, less guesswork. So yeah, we're excited to see what the day has in store. This thing's turning out to be great, eh? Yeah, it is. Well, here we are uh, at um, Churchill Falls. Basically, this is the uh, outlet of um, the Smallwood Reservoir here. And just down the Churchill River from where we stand is a gigantic falls that's not what it once was before the dam, but uh, still supposed to be a pretty cool sight to see. And I've never gotten a chance to look at it. Um, I've only passed through on uh, the way home from one of my adventures, so I never uh, took the hike. So we're just stopped here, grabbing a bite to eat for lunch. Um, Huddy's stretching his legs, and I think we're gonna hike down and have a look at the waterfall, so I'm excited. We are taking a little lunch break here at uh, the Churchill River. There was a nice pull off. We just ate some lunch and now we're doing a little hike. Get the kids outside. Patty did a lot of running around and we're gonna check out the waterfall.
Hamilton Falls on the Churchill River. It actually used to be called the Grand River back in the day. And this is a legendary spot. Uh, long before the road came in here, trappers from the coast, from Northwest River and Mud Bay, used to travel all the way up the up river uh, and then portage basically up this falls. They were called the Haida Landers and they trap this country all winter, returning home before breakup. Feels pretty cool to see this falls in its true form because this is, you know, the only volume of water you're gonna get uh, probably once every 10 years because they had so much rain in this area this past summer that the dam now that's here is open and uh, the, uh, the falls is flushing. Um, so this is what it would be at historic level. So it's very rare to see this since the construction of the dam. So I feel very fortunate that we got to see it in this magnitude. An awesome little family trip on a beautiful day. Freaking love Labrador. So we're heading back to our truck, which is right there by that bridge on the Trans Labrador Highway. And this guy ain't getting any lighter. How are you, Heidi? I went and scouted out a place where I think we're going to camp tonight in between uh, Churchill Falls and Happy Valley Goose Bay. Bit of a bumpy road though. Should I put it in four? Uh, I don't think so. This is where I was thinking you could camp. Those are my prints. But in the middle, there's wolf prints. Big wolf. So you walked all the way back here? To make yeah, sure all the way, way to up the there. And I, I just cut it right across here and do a big turn, cut right across here. Right here? Yeah. Well, this is home for the night. Cuddy's getting suited up. A lot of wolf prints and moose prints around here. But we found a little spot just on a side road that we're gonna call home for the night and it's a beautiful evening. So, pretty good. We weren't sure where we're gonna end up tonight so we're pretty happy with this. chicken oh yeah why aren't we eating all that uh, country food that was given to us today well a couple of reasons one still frozen two the chicken was thawed out so I think we should eat it up before it goes back yeah all that salmon char is frozen solid so oh, yeah. not gonna, we could eat some of this this is one of the things that we we're given is a oh, yeah. jarred moose meat or canned moose meat which is just like so buttery and delicious Uh, we have a box of wine that we haven't been drinking because it's been chillier at night and the wine is being stored outside all day and so the wine is cold. And, so, and it's red wine. You don't want and it's red wine. wine and so like having cold red wine is not very appetizing and it just doesn't, I don't know, it's not very good. So we haven't been drinking it and we're both feeling like a glass of wine so we've decided to warm it up.
This is the Cold Steel Fin Hawk. It's a bushcrafting knife, but it's great for cutting onions. And he's really good with these onions on it. Yeah, this is great. Mm -hmm. Add a little crunch, eh? Mm -hmm.